New at 10, the city of Chicago now eyeing one of the Chicago Park District's biggest active facilities as a possible shelter space for migrants. The Broadway Armory Park has been used as an emergency homeless shelter during the pandemic. But as CBS 2's Marissa Perlman explains, neighbors worry this could mean youth and senior programs will get cut. Outside the Broadway Armory in Edgewater, Sharon Copeland, just shy of 70, shows us some moves she picked up taking belly dance class here. Chair yoga, Zumba, and Tai Chi, and belly dance on Tuesday. She says coming here five days a week is what's kept her busy, moving, and active. It's just like you in heaven. So I love, love this place. And she's created a community here alongside her friend, Gwendolyn Williams. These are just like my own sisters. I, I wouldn't trade them for nothing. I met a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, a lot of good people, a lot of other seniors. And we get a chance to congregate, you know, and talk. But now they're worried this space they've come to depend on could get canceled or postponed, as the city named the facility a possible shelter or respite center for migrants. Now they're still waiting for answers. It just feel like the, you know they're going to come and we're going to be out, you know, so they should let us know. In a statement, the city says the Broadway Armory is being considered along with other locations. Alderwoman Lenny Mana Hoppenworth says everyone on city council has been asked to identify appropriate sites for temporary shelters in their wards. It can't just be on one neighborhood or one alder person or one park district facility to fix the crisis that we are in right now because we don't know what the end looks like. She understands the seniors and students who rely on the park district for exercise, camaraderie or a hot meal and says for now all summer programming will move forward. Nothing will change unless we have input from the community. The older woman went on to say no decision on the facility has been made yet. She did say the city will hold a town hall so this community can give their voice to this decision. Those details are still in the works. Reporting in Edgewater, I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News.